What's up, view engineers? In this video, I want to help you code faster by sharing my most used, biggest time-saving VS code snippets. First off, I'm just going to spin up a new Vue.js application. I'm just going to use spin view. We're going to call it snips. All right, CDN, install packages, and let's open up an editor. And as you can see here, we have a new Vue.js application. All right, so my first snippet here is, as you can imagine, you're writing Vue.js code, you need to create components. So I have this snippet here called ViewBNS and ViewBN, and this is just gonna create a new view component. As you can see here, we have some templating, so the name of the file has actually been placed in the class as raw in your HTML and as a new styling. So go ahead and hit save, and you can see we now have a new Vue.js component just like that. So. All these snippets are gonna be in the description. I wanna help you guys program faster. I wanna help you write your Vue.js code faster than before. So let's go ahead and look at the next snippet. The big winner for me when writing Vue.js components has been generating composable functions. So let's go ahead and create a composable function here. I'm gonna generate a composables directory and then we're gonna call it use is mobile. To generate a new Vue.js composable function, I use HKK, which stands for hook, and then we're gonna do is mobile. And just like that, I have a new Vue.js composable that I can start writing shareable logic in. So the next snippet I use, probably the most often, is ref. So REFF generates a new ref. So let's go ahead and kind of build out this composable function. I'm gonna call this is mobile. Set to false, do some importing. And then of course, and I have another snippet called comp, which generates a new computer property. We're gonna call this is desktop. And of course, we're just gonna invert is mobile here. My next most useful snippet has to be on mounted, and that's just on mm. I'm gonna go ahead and build this component out. So let's see, so on mounted, we want to update is mobile. And it looks like we're just gonna go ahead and use the inner width here. That's totally fine with me. Gonna add the window event and make that run on start. So that's basically that. Let's go ahead and export here and move back to app. I'm building out lots of composables, adding lots of logic here. So I love to use USEE, which is the composable hook and and you can see here, we can add these quickly and go ahead and update our component to show off what we have now. So as you can see, let's go ahead and bump up the size. We'll just use styles. Great. Just like that, we have a new is mobile or is desktop uh, composable function. And this is all thanks to, you know, a couple snippets. Just to list them off again, we have the VPNS, uh, new view component. We have HKK, generate new composable function. We have ref, generate new ref, comp, computer prop, unmounted. I also have, uh, I didn't show this one off, but I have unmounted. So we do on, un, not used as often as unmounted, but still there, still useful. And then one of my favorites, uh, use, um, consume a composable function. So that's it. I just wanted to drop a really quick video, give away some value, help you program faster while you're writing your Vue.js components and composables. I'm gonna link all of these in the description. They're gonna be completely available for you to use and hopefully speed up your development. If you like this type of content, I'm a huge fan of Vue.js, huge fan of serverless functions, uh, obviously doing a lot of things with LLMs, ChatGPT, etc. So if you're into that content, you want to see someone build it out in real time. You want to see someone build out app ideas. You want to see someone use new technology and test it. Uh, you know, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Happy coding. I'll see you guys in the next one.